Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dak Dak, and today we're playing some more Seven Days to Die, and it's our final episode of Seven Days to Die. So, I've used the concrete that I've got currently and upgraded pretty much all of the floor. I didn't think I'd actually have that much, but yeah, done most of the underside of this, which is pretty cool. Um, should help out in case there's any collapses at any point. I've tested the traps to make sure they work. The dart trap works. I didn't really want to test the shotgun turrets because I've got a feeling they'd just shred me if I turned those on and tested them. Um, I've got no switches or anything, which is a little bit dense, honestly. I probably should have gone for a switch rather than having to come here and switch it on and switch it off. But whatever. It'll be fine. We're going to prepare for Horde Night. So, what do we need? I don't think we need this, 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 or this. We'll keep the nail gun on us. Obviously, we're going to need meds. Oh, we don't need this either. Um, I'll keep the cobblestone blocks on me, in all fairness. Obviously, we're going to keep a bit of cement in case we need to get any repairs done quickly. Um, you can see I've already got a load of ammo. I'm not going to bother grabbing a load of meds, in all fairness. Yeah, yeah, you should probably grab at least a few more meds. Let's fill the hot bars up with meds. Normally, I'd grab a load of molotovs and stuff, but... I don't think we uh, we need to bother. Let's take a couple of them. So if we get any injuries, I can just run here. Well, what's one more inventory slot taken up? Give me some of that. Recog is range damage. I'll take a couple of those. Um, a couple of those. We don't really need the aloe cream. It's only for abrasion. Healing and we've got two stacks of bandages on our hot bar, so I think we're gonna be fine there. Do I need any ammo for the guns? No, not really. We're as modded up as we're going to be. I've got the correct armor on, it's not in my inventory. <clears throat> I mean I did think about putting some blade traps around the place, maybe. But uh, like no. If I was gonna put them anywhere, I'd add an extra block onto the end there and on the end there, so as they came up, they got shredded. In fact, actually, a better place would be a block right there, because then they get shredded coming up that tile, that tile, and that tile. But we're not going to bother with that. We've got plenty of ammo. Let's shut this door. I need to remember to shut this door as well, so they don't spit through and destroy things. Not that it really matters if they do at this point. Because again, in case you've not quite got it, this is going to be our final episode. Put these down here. In fact, let's put them there. Now... I want the wooden blocks, because if I go out to fight, I want to be able to nerd pole up quickly if I need to. Oh yeah, I've got no more cobblestone. There dues. I'm curious to see how well these shotgun turrets do. I've never used this many traps in a horde base. It's going to be interesting to see. Anyway. It begins. I jump up here and sit with you guys. Oh, this is the way they're coming first. Helps if you turn it on. Oh, why am I running slowly again? Who keeps shooting the trader? Stop doing that. Right, learning elixir me. Take both of these just so we don't get infected. And we'll take a recog. You know what? I might as well get a coffee down. Me as well to contract all that thirst that we've got. What are you guys doing? Is this going to be the easiest horde night possible? I mean, I don't get XP from my traps killing things because I've not gone into in. Is it intellect? Um, do 10% more damage. There's one way you get XP for trap kills. I thought it was robotics. Apparently not. I'm not that worried about this, in all fairness, that not many of them's going to get to it. Should we see if we can see the blade, tra uh, blade traps? 
let me oh. the dart traps in action I mean I don't think they're going to be getting any kills exactly but it's that one working down this side get away let's go to the roof I might be able to see better from up there I hear a bird. Yeah, fine. The one on the left's definitely working. The one on the right doesn't seem to be working. One minute, we'll go and have a look at that. Hi, guys. Just coming down. Just going to drop here quickly and... Yeah, we'll stay out of the horde base now. No, oh, no, I have suffered an abrasion. You need to get lost. Is it not working because of the loot bag? I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, I've got a, a sprain. give the M60 a proper test. I mean, just look at this. I mean, the reload time's a bit rubbish, but other than that, we're fine. Oh no, I am bleeding. Deep laceration. Oh, alright, then we're taking a bit more damage than I'd like to admit. A freaking bird just pushed me off! <laughs> right. Alup. Let's just get things sorted. Can you naff off? Bloody thing. Um, we'll learn them. Have I taken a fort bite? Bites already. Let's take one of them. And then let's get out of there. Can't see what's in the red bag. Hey. I need to get a beer down me as well. Hey guys, I'm having a drink. Would you leave me alone, please? And yeah, we still never find found that final brawling book. I think I prefer it more when we're stood up here. Oh, I'm gonna get shot. Oh, my own traps! Oh, blue bag. So at least now, they can't swarm around me. I mean, they can come from either side, but... Yeah. Without turning the actual game out, difficulty up more, there's mo not much else we can do at this point in this game. Let's turn the hood off, then. We've, we've pretty much completed it, mate. Shotgun turrets have got my back. They softened him up quite nicely there. That's good. I need my vision to clear up a little bit so I can get an actual proper screenshot. Stop shooting at Trader Rack. Oh yeah, I've not got my hood turned on, so I can't loot anything at the minute. Bye then. You know what's fun? Having sledge turrets. I could actually go and get mine. I have got one. Who needs a horde base, right? I could just have these on the floor, next to where I'm stood. And be good. Where'd the blue loot bag go? What is that lumberjack doing? He's flying. He's the Jesus lumberjack. One minute. On my sledge turret. 
turn the hood back on. In case you don't know or I've not mentioned it, F7 is what does that. Um, give me this. Repair that quickly. Listen to them dart traps going for it. I want to see if we can make it so that zombies can't even get to us. Get off that. Oh, and now you come up this side. Well, that's just spiffing. <laughs> I do love a good robotic sledge. Sledge can handle that side. I've got this side. So there you are. That's all the horde base you need. Just a floating beam. And a load of shotgun turrets. Oh my god. A zombie made it through. Admittedly, my armor is keeping me from taking a massive amount of damage here. I don't even need a first aid kit at this point. Get lost. I wonder if we'll see any demos tonight. We've only got really one more chance to see them. So the next wave swap will be at 2 o'clock, right? Just think of all the XP I've missed out on by having all these shotgun turrets as well. They are kind of robbing me. Bird didn't get anywhere close to me. Get out of it. I think that sledge is a bit too far forward, to be fair. Is it? No, it's just poking them off a little bit. Hello. Hello, it's all the way up in the grill. Anything good in this loot bag? Oh, it's still teasing me with the wrong freaking bolts. I bet you can make a horde base and just survive solely off traps, right? I mean, that would take a lot to uh, maintain. So obviously you're going to be refilling ammo and you're going to need plenty of electronic parts and robotic, uh, mechanical parts and stuff for repairing traps all the time. But I bet you could make a base that would solely work off of traps. An abrasion. Oh, no. Whatever will we do? Get out of it. If we're hearing the trader rack sound, I think it's because um, we're coming up the other ladders. <clears throat> I should at least get some partial XP for killing zombies. Or, you know, once I've hit zombies. Yeah, by them. Stabby, stabby. There we go. Give them a bit more of a chance to get up to it. <clears throat> if they manage to get through... Did anybody else see that zombie floating there, then? My leg is broken, and it magically just healed. So, for me, a broken leg is better than a sprained leg. Yeah, it's me shooting wrecked now. Sorry, dude. Oh, I nearly stepped too far there. I thought you guys had my back. I mean, I'm not going to say this is the easiest horde night we've had. There's quite a few zombies here, but... It's not exactly been a challenge, has it? Again, still on warrior difficulty. Still on 64 max alive. This is dead unstable, isn't it? When um, when you hip fire, Jesus, jumping all over the place. Right, we're past two. Is there any demos coming? 
<clears throat> I'd have thought we'd have been at the point where there'd have been some demos. This is kind of one reason you don't want to build by the trader. If you don't want to be hearing that sound all night, every night. I mean, A, just don't shoot at the trader, but B, don't, don't build, build near him. I don't even need all the traps. Just this M60 is enough. Hey, can you see why I say I don't like end game seven days to die? <clears throat> Were that overpowered? I mean, yes, we, we would get more powerful hordes if I kept going. We're not getting any radiated. I've not seen any demos. We can get slightly more powerful hordes, but... So what? We can't get any stronger at this point. All we'd be doing is wasting more ammo, trying to kill more zombies. I feel like I've not reloaded in ages. In fact, my recog's run out as well, hasn't it? Thought you'd be clever, did you? How's that working out for you? See, if we really want to get rid of them, I just have to actually hold my mouse button rather than just keep spamming it. Oh, my bad. Because that's all I'm doing at the minute. I'm not holding it down. I'm just clicking. We're like two, three shotting zombies anyway. Nope. Reload. Now, you're not taking any more of my XP. Can we get one more level? Surely. I think we finished this Horde Knight down in the fields. Another one of these. Another one of these. We'll take the quick way down. You. Come at me, zombies. Come at me. Yeah, what do you guys think you're going to do, huh? Circle me all you want. You can get lost. I mean, we've seen what the hot zombies can do when they circle me. I've died several times in tier 6 POIs, but... There's nothing better than punching a zombie square in the face. The only problem with doing this as well, by the way, is loot bags are going to be all over the place. Who's going up there? <clears throat> That's it, the dead. So we used five bandages. That's it. That's all we used for the entire horde night. Okay. Right. Oh, they took out a couple of blocks. Oh, no. That's it. Oh, no, they took out one step. Why would you take that block out right there? That's just rude. <sighs> Let me go get rid of all the ammo and we'll get looting all these bags and then we'll wrap up the series, I guess. But I could probably get rid of all these meds as well at this point, right? Um, ammo. Go like that. Meds. Throw all of that in there. Uh, crafting. You can all go away. Let's unlock all of these. Just throw this stuff in the dump chest. I'm not bothered with it. I want to see just the things we get from the actual horde. Yeah, that looks about right. Right. Yeah. Let's get looting. This is where perception would be good, so we can loot quicker, but... 
Start with the blue ones first, just because they're better. Right, I'll grab everything and then we'll have a look at it. If I get that final brawling book now. I mean, I'll not be annoyed, but it will be quite annoying. At a quick glance, I'm seeing a lot of the repairing books coming in. Tools Digest, that's the one. A lot of brawling books as well. Not brawling books, the, the fist fighting books. That's the same thing, you idiot. I know what I mean. Oh yeah, I'm... That was the last book! I saw it! Ta-da! Alright, let's read some of these magazines. Oh, we've got Tech Planet, Nine Tools Digest. That's capped that out. Machine Gunner were capped out on Knife Guy. Scrapping for fun. That's the one, Furious Fists. Some more cooking books. We'll eat this tuna. What have we got up here? Big hitters. Handgun magazines. A freaking, yeah. We, we're not bothered about that. Right, I think we can keep looting. I mainly wanted to see how many of the skills I could finish off just by this horde night and what we find. Oh, pistol quality six. Check us out. Means we can now make a magnum. Any down here? Nope, there's one there. See any loot bags out in the field? There's a couple. I think one of the horde bases I should make is just going to be like a fight pit. We'll dig down to the bottom of the map. They'll fall down and we'll just fight them in the middle. There'll be, there'll be no traps or tricks or anything. Just make them take a load of fall damage and then start smashing them. That was probably the wrong word to use there, to be fair, but... <clears throat> oh, no! How much ammo did this end up using? Not even a stack. They did mainly attack from this... Hello? From this side. Stack and a half? How about a shotgun? Uh, let's see... Two more scrapping for fun. Sharp sticks. Look at all the armor we got as well. Get that down. You, you're thirsty. You won't be thirsty anymore, my dude. A decent hole. <clears throat> but nothing really, like, groundbreaking. And again, that's, that's the end of Seven Days to Die. That's what I don't like. You're not looking for anything else. It's no longer fun, because you've got everything. What did we use then? Just over a stack. Stack and a third. Two stacks. Hello? Another mining book? Two stacks. Eh. Yay, we finished the mining book as well. Go team. Which ones did we finish off then? We finished off the art of mining, so gain 20% more ore mining. Has that changed? I don't think that used to be that, did it? Automatic weapons, each kill boost your run speed by 20% for 20 seconds. I didn't even realise that. Bar brawling, the seventh curse. The seventh unarmed strike landed in a short time does 300% damage. Oh, we nearly finished Lucky Looter. Oh, that's, that's decent. Um, any others that we were close to finishing? Take Junkie. Nearly finished that one. Wasteland Treasure. We didn't even need them. Urban Combat. Silencers no longer have a damage penalty. That's pretty cool. And we got two points. Final two points. Healing Factor that we don't really need. Oh, let's see if we've got any armor parts that are um, new. Assassin... Do, do, do. Like, uh, Assassin's Outfit is right there. This one's got slightly more durability. Nerd Gloves. We've already got a four. Nomad Boots. We're wearing Nomad. No, we're not. Where's Nomad? Didn't we start wearing Nomad? Oh, Nomad's there. These have got more durability. Nomad Headgear. We've got a four. Four piece, we can swap that one. Uh, we're wearing raider stuff, aren't we? Scrap that one, scrap that one. Rogue boots. Uh, 
Where's Rogue? I know I've got a bit of the Rogue set there. There's another piece of the Rogue set. Yeah, we, we pretty much got all the armor sets. What are we missing? Four sets of shoes, two sets of gloves, three chest pieces, and like one, two, three, four, five, six head pieces. I think that's all the armor sets, right? <clears throat> I'd like to think that's all the armor sets. But there's nothing else for us to do in this series. I mean, there is. We could continue it forever. But why? Why, why would we do that? I don't want to do that. That doesn't seem fun. We've done everything that I wanted to do in this series, within reason. This is still a couple of things that I kind of said I was going to do and never got round to, but... You'll be fine. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Get rid of that. Dump chest. That can go in there. That can go in there. All of our dukes in there. I mean, I've never even done a sell-off. Oh, we had a magma in there that we could have used as well. Yeah, I've never even done a sell-off. I don't tend to go to traders all that often. Um, ammo, you can go in there. Oh, have you done giving me rubbish back, game? Have you done giving me rubbish back? Oh. Minor outfit. Oh, thank you. Extra cash in there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We've not got to do this anymore. This is just busy work. So, it has been a fun series. I always enjoy Seven Days to Die, even when I'm dying. <clears throat> even though I do get a bit salty about it. But that's all part of the experience, isn't it? Like I say, love Seven Days to Die. I will always like to do series on this game. In fact, how much did you use? Like four shots. That'll probably even be for that bird that I load up here. Um, yeah, I'll always enjoy doing series for this game. More so multiplayer series than single player series, as I've explained several times at this point. But it's a fun game. I'll always come back to playing it. So, if you've enjoyed watching this series, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see uh, more things like this. Or even more 7 Days to Die later down the line. You know, when there's been more updates and stuff. Or maybe a modded game or something. I don't know. Um, and any comments and feedback you've given me throughout the series has been greatly appreciated. But yeah, thank you very much. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next series. Cheers.